Check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The Gemini Scorpio podcast is here. He is here. Jay Hill, I'm in the building. Healer Bay, aka Sha Day in the building, aka I'm a little schmiz. Yeah, we take a little shots. Little, got or a little, little dress. Yeah, I'm a little schmiz. I'm a little schmiz, man. The whole gang is in here. Jewel, Alex, Pig, Monique. We no out fuck. here. Yeah, the yeah, team yeah, yeah. is here holding yes. it down. Monique on my hair yes. again. I'm here. Celebrity, look you better look know it. her. Look at, look at Alex. Hello. You better hey. know her. I'm over here giving a shout out. Mm. You is just in the way. You're like. Anyway, shout out to Monique at Pink Celebrity. Oh, and they stop staring at me like that. I'm trying to give a shout out. Pink Celebrity on her hair. Get into her. <laughs> Period. We here. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to the gang, man. Shout out to Milani. You know what I'm saying? Dripped up in Milani, laced in Milani. No. Hey, yo, can we, um, this coronavirus shit. We're drinking out of blue cups today. That's how you know coronavirus is too much. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Plastic shout, cups. Yeah, shout out to Luke Bella as well. Um, I don't know what's going on. Maybe because the coronavirus is going on, but I didn't get my email to get my shipment. But we down to the, hey, the nitty gritty, but it's all good. We out here. It's, it's, all good, we a got, little bit. You know what I'm saying? We got tape on the other bottles. Y'all not about to get a, a liquor with that is. Yeah, they, if you know, you know. Yeah, if you, if you know, know, you know the they, bottle. They, they but barely we ain't about get these because. But anyway. Not because the coronavirus, J. man, is going on, man. The coronavirus is going on, and I'm. Can we get straight to it? I I can smell it in the air just as much as I can smell the pollen. Oh, so I don't like it. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. it smells like sick outside. No, you're right. We in the house? Mm -hmm. We in here. We in the house. We are locked up. Jay. We ain't outside. We in the house. We inside. We inside. We no inside. outside. We inside with it. We got Yo. bad groceries. Don't come over because we not sharing. Yeah, we period. got big groceries. Yeah, we need that Yo, to last for the I mean, apocalypse. I, I feel bad because uh, I was one of the ones. Everybody's like, all the food is gone, but it's mad soap and shit. It was Jay. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I got like, so we had two body washes in the crib. So I got like two more. But they expensive as fuck, so it's like that's probably why they still on the shelves because yeah, because all, Dove is like motherfucking ten dollars a, a bottle. Facts. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get two of these, but I'm gonna get four packs of tissue. <laughs> that was me. I, I, when Can I, somebody I, tell me how is tissue gonna save our lives? It ain't gonna save our life, but if because we let me tell you something. House, okay, but if I run out of tissue, I can legit get in the shower. I can take so a washcloth. Soap it up and wipe my ass. That's disgusting. What are you Pitching talking about? You do it shit. every day. Bitch, me taking a shit and Jay, not wiping my ass. Jay, you take showers every time after you. Yeah, but I wipe my and ass. And I know first. you ain't wipe it good because like I, niggas I, don't do that. I ain't saying I wipe it good. But, hey, yo, I'm just saying I wipe my ass and I get in the shower and clean my ass. But right. picture me taking a shit and not wiping my ass and getting in the shower with a shitty ass. I'm and, washing my ass. That's disgusting. What you got leftover? Dookie, but I don't if understand. You don't, if, if you, you don't put it in the toilet, ass, if it's in the toilet. But if you don't wipe your ass, you got shit in your That's why you got to wipe your ass, because you got shit in your I ass. I feel like you got it in there regardless. That's why you get in the shower. That's disgusting. You can be getting in the shower. With all I'm ass. saying is, drip, why drip. are y'all buying all the tissue? Like, we it's still vitamins. House. It's still, y'all ain't take none of the vitamins. Y'all ain't take no zinc, no, you know, vitamin E. Y'all ain't take Did none of the oils. Of Did we take any of that? Nah, but we picked the vegetables though, and I made sure that Jay was like, I don't really care. But I was like, vegetables no, we're getting vegetables, fruit. We got everything, meat, that's everything. That's not the same thing as vitamins. But uh, why not? Because the vitamins. The vitamins are in your vegetables. What's up? Okay. Okay. Minerals, all I was saying all is I can, be, I can relate to you guys. You know what I'm saying? I was one of the ones that I didn't get the vitamins or the uh, a lot of soap. Well, I'm saying the vegetable, the vegetable aisle was full as hell. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. So if you guys are caring was, about your ass, make sure you care about your insides and get some greens. The water That's all I'm was, saying. Man. But yo, your insides are nasty. That's why you're shitting like that because y'all don't eat no greens. How you feel about the coronavirus shit though? Well, uh, so um, I'm not trying to get it. I don't want anybody in my house to get it. Family, friends, none of us to get it. Uh, what I do know is it's not a matter of if we get it. Apparently it is when we get it. Um, they are treating it like it is going to be very much surrendered like the flu like everybody is expected to either at least get the flu once mm -hmm. um and if you have not got it you probably are going to get it in your lifetime that's just what it is especially if you didn't get the shot they're treating that this as a new epidemic just like that like you're going supposedly you're we're going somebody's going to get it either close to you or you're going to get it and that's just the matters of it um the only thing that confuses me is you know they said there's no cure but they said you can recover so it means like 
you know, you'll get it, but it will pass. Something like if you get a stomach virus, there's yeah. no real cure for a stomach virus, but you get it, you get the bug, you throw up, you have diarrhea, you do all these things, and it passes and it leaves. It could also, you know, get to the next person the same way. If you get a fu- stomach virus, you definitely can, it's contagious enough to get it to somebody in your house. Right. So, you know, the severity of it, so I'm just like, okay, it's two parts to me. It's, it's that side, and it's like, you know, because of how the world has been moving around it and how fast it's been spreading, it's also the other precaution, like, you know, is this going to kill me? Is it going to do something, you know, detrimental where I cannot come back from? And I think that is where the panic comes from because realistically, nobody knows. We don't know the cure. We don't know how to stop it. We don't know how to contain it. We, we don't know a lot of things. So, you know, it definitely is going to put us in an uproar, you know. So let's talk about the, uh, the impacts of it, man. <clears throat> Statewide, you know, we got, they permitted events for 250 or more but you already know um, 250 people honestly and truly I don't even like to be around them like motherfuckers cause y'all thieves anyway but we still going up on the 28th no. at society so we I'm, there we partying I'm because the, everything is due to be close to the 27th so you know that's freedom day that's freedom day you know it's, 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 you hashtag know, freedom day I hashtag we there you know hashtag what I'm saying freedom day. pull up what society. else uh, schools are being closed from March 16th to 27th I'm not trying to be in here with my daughter for two weeks and I cannot believe they did that mm-hmm. that was very Little mean Mai-Mai. that is very mean to parents okay um, what we else? don't want to be looking at these kids we send them to school for our break they okay? literally just did this today and I think it's, um, it started at 12 o'clock tonight <laughs> I'm Whoa. not coughing Whoa. because of the coronavirus Whoa. this fucking hookah you know, but you did do the, the, the you top. cough right though you cough right you uh, know, we got, dab um, when you cough Dab when you call. For those who don't know, right, right, dab when you call. All right, don't okay. call too much. Um, all casinos Your are closed. Your was all in my mouth yesterday, so cut it out. Talking about something, don't cough too much. That wasn't the only place it was at, but... Uh, You're nasty. Yeah. You're nasty. Um, Come on. All casinos are closed, and other entertainment uh, facilities are only <sighs> allowing half of their capacity. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Yeah. If you are a gambler, no more... Yo, all you guys just wash your hands, people. Wash your hands. But y'all should have been washing your hands and your ass before. Like, now y'all taking all the tissue and now y'all washing your hands. But y'all should have been doing both before. Facts. Let's jump into it. How how is it? How is it affecting us, though, as a whole? Um, You know, it's crazy. You know, all jokes aside, I think it is affecting everybody. Um, You know. How is it affecting you? How has it affected? Because it has affected you so far. Yeah, it has. Uh, So, you know, um, I do work with the government and... We, you know, well, the most of us are allowed to telework. Um, Some of us are not. Um, I was granted to be able to telework because I have a child who was out of school for two weeks. And, you know, there are employees that I have that are not permitted directly the same leisure as I am. Um, It did create a lot of uproar in our company because it kind of showed us where our company stood as far as our own Mm -hmm. well-being. You know, I thought it was very unfair for the employees that do not have kids that don't get the same leisure for the simple fact that you know we work in washington dc most of it is metro based and metro is packed with hundreds and hundreds of people each and day and i thought that was a very high risk because it's nasty like we're so close to each other i watch people cough pick their nose smell like it is so disturbing like it kind of gives it was giving me anxiety for the last week that i was taking the metro into work because i'm like I don't even know how to feel. I don't want nobody to even breathe on me, let alone, you You know, you have the railings, the, the trains are aggressive, so they're moving back and forth. You got to hold the silver, the silver, silver poles where it said that they live on there for at least 12 hours. So it's scary. It's really a so scary on, thing. your job is only letting people tell them they got kids? Yeah, the Damn. kids are sitting out of school. So, you know, it's, it's sad because, you know, when, you know, they asked us, you know, put a lot of our questions and concerns and let our directors know. And a main one of mine was, okay, even if they don't have kids, you are allowing your employees to still metro in, still contact tons of people each day. What if somebody in here gets it? What is the, how do you protect your employees inside your job? Like we li- we work in buildings where people are going in and out of, in and out of. We really don't know. Like we really don't know. Like we probably passed hundreds of people who had it already and just don't know. You know what I mean? So I it's a really, it's, it's, it's a real risky thing. And that was my big thing. So whether I had a kid or not, they wasn't going to see me. And, I, and, and if you want to, 
And if you want to take it up with me, you better holler at the labor board because it would be a lawsuit for you to tell me to come in here with a pandemic going on and risk my health for a job that's going to replace me if I die anyway. That's a fact. You know Alex what I mean? got a job. How, how was it a Seriously. You? Seriously. It, I mean. Seriously. I don't play them games like you better know your rights as an employee. You get what I'm saying? Like people, you know, complain. I told my coworkers, I was like, that's fine. But let me tell you, if they do fire you in this point, you better get ready to go up to the labor board and put a lawsuit in. Jobs don't want that lawsuit. You can't fight that. It's a world pandemic going on. You cannot fight that. It's not the company. We're not leaving because we're sick. Have some respect for your employees. And that was the biggest thing. I felt like we all should be getting ready because jobs don't give a damn about you. Like, you know what I mean? They didn't care. Like, it took us till Friday at the end of the day to finally get an email just to say these things. This is something we should have already had in place or had a protocol to flow with in the end of times, in harsh times. Like, my job didn't even have something in place. They were scrimmages. They didn't know what to do. And they should already know what to do. We shouldn't be as employees waiting. Our kids got dismissed for two weeks on Thursday. It's still Friday. The virus been known nationally since two weeks ago and nobody knew what to do. And then you tell your employees last minute, we should have been had a plan in place. Come on jobs, get it together. Care about your employees. That's a fact. Seriously. Well, how has it affect you, affected you Alex at work? I mean, well, teleworking, everybody is teleworking. We're limited to three days a week and everybody has to work like 14 hour shifts, mm. 30, 12 to 14 hour shifts. Mm. I mean, like Sade was saying, certain jobs are not taking the proper precautions. You know, they, a lot of people aren't taking it seriously. And I would just recommend that even though we don't know, because we don't know enough about the virus to take it seriously, wash your hands, take all the precautions that you should have already been taking. Yeah. Really? I mean, I, like I said, yeah. the one thing that I've realized from this virus is how unsanitary we have been as yep. a society. Yep. Um, but you know, I've definitely been washing my hands way more yeah, now. Yeah, I've been super ashy because I definitely Hell don't have ashy, enough. Bro. Like, I'm <laughs> I don't sorry, got enough like, lotion like, not, for all of this. I can't even. It's not even enough lotion. I've done lotion my hand five times, but I've been washing my hands so much. I don't even think it matters. My Jewel skin is dry. You work at a school too, like yeah. Want you um, want you uh, like not laid off, but you had to like chill yeah, out and so shit. For me. The school district closed for the past, for the next two weeks. Mm -hmm. And with me, I work in a district office and I go around filming, doing photography and, you know, all those different yeah. types of things. But for me, it was basically like, hey, school closed. And then yeah. I was already out because you guys know what yeah. happened with my mom dying. But it was just like, wow. So now I can't come everything. Work. Yeah. Like, it's like you yeah. think you well, about to adjust and go back to work. Leave or so for me specifically, I'm working from home mm -hmm. and they're working with us to work from home. But it's like, how long does that last yeah. if right. this gets worse? Exactly. You know? yeah. Exactly. And as far as essential employees in the district office, they still mm -hmm. had to report to work. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah like still a risk right there. Yeah. Right. I, I had, a, um, you know, somebody in our business development team, you know, who completely could work from home. A lot of us don't even have no business being in the building, but they basically told her she has a child and her director told her, well, find proper care, find proper care. She was like, you better report to work on Monday. And um, I think the major thing for that for me was, first of all, I don't trust anybody with. The Sorry. small, my, my bad. The yeah. small, the smaller lens is on top of the fridge. Yeah, I know. Um, I mean, because I know that's probably like extra zoom in type shit. And Monique, go smoke some hookah or something. We got, we got time. Like, <laughs> she said, she have said some fun, like, chill. God damn, so <laughs> you can relax. Shout out to okay. Monique. She, she, she dedicated yeah, to her job. Dedicated. You know what I'm saying? Shout like, out to you, Monique. Go smoke some hookah. <laughs> we love shit. you. Go God. take a drink. Go smoke some hookah. Yeah. You good? But um, I know, for, for us, like, um. How does it affect you yeah, know, as like, an entrepreneur? As an entrepreneur is, is a is a is a motherfucker. Because first of all, like outside of my my work, nobody we can't throw parties because everybody's scared. One, uh, outside of that, like ain't nobody want to do no interviews or whatever. Because like we we focus out mine, the country mine is on coronavirus. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? So it's like anything I'm just else chill. you had to do going on, right? Stop that. Basically. Also. I mean, just as an entrepreneur, I do Uber and Lyft and shit. So it's like, it makes me not even want to do that shit because I'm coming in contact with like, what, 20 people a day? So it's like, yeah, it's like, I don't even want to do it, but I got, I have to do it because I got to make my bread, right? Because right. because bills ain't going postponed. Yeah. And if they do, it's just going to pile, pile, pile up. up. So I don't yep. want to, you know what I'm saying? So as an entrepreneur, I think it's, it's it, but the other side of that, I think is, a, um, I think it's an eye opener. <coughs> That's your second time. That's it's because Sade. I'm choking. <laughs> the whole. 
Every time I put the top on, I choke. Let me just keep it off because yes. they're gonna think I got the Rona in here, and I yeah, don't got so that. Like, that got but it. the other side, I don't have that. The other side for entrepreneurs, though, I think it's a wake up call, though, because yeah. a lot of us, you know, what I'm saying, we ain't, we don't got health insurance. We not really taking, not even saying we ain't taking life serious, but as entrepreneurs, you're really trying to get on do a hundred percent for your for your brand and for your business that. When it blow, you can put things in order, but you never really plan for things like this, pandemics like this. So now yeah. once this happens, it's like, damn, I need yeah. to really look at my health insurance. Yeah. I need to look at uh, my savings account. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because we put so much money into what we're trying to do right. far as entrepreneurship right. that we're not really ready for this. So yeah. when it's happened, it's like, damn, we fucked. For yeah. real. So like, and yeah. it's scary though, because it's, very scary. it's like, man, niggas like, yo, take a couple thousand out the bank shit even a couple hundred like what what well i think Where? they said the average american can't afford an ex of uh, uh unexpected expense over four hundred dollars mm. and i agree that like to even think that you would have to you know sit out and still have to pay your rent and still have to pay your car note and still have to make sure you have food and still have to make sure your family is good like and not get paid that's a big hit you know mm. what i mean a lot of small businesses are going to take a big hit a lot of entrepreneurs are going to take a big hit and i think a lot of entrepreneurs who even you know get a lot of their materials and shipments from overseas have been on a halt since like january yeah. and <laughs> even even on top of that like they, they uh postponed or they canceled south by southwest that was a big hit for entrepreneurs. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Jay was supposed to go out there. Yeah, you I was were definitely supposed to go out there for um some um some interviews, get some artists and stuff. Uh, they postponed. Um, I think a lot Jamaica Carnival, Coachella, um, Oscar what Music Festival, whatever but, that is. Yeah. Uh, they cast. Oh, I mean, first of all, they canceled the goddamn NBA. Yeah, that shit is crazy. Like that's how you know it's crazy when you cancel the NBA. That's how you know it was crazy. Like I've never seen that in my life. And even when I was talking to like, you know, parents, like I talked to my mom and I was like, my ever in your life, you know, my mom's Jamaican. She grew up mostly in Jamaica, but even in America, I'm like between Jamaica and America, have you ever experienced something like this? And my mom said, no, she's mm. never seen something like this. And she said, you know, it gets scary because we don't know if this is going to cause it to slow down or we don't know if this is still going to extend out. And I think that is the uncertainty of where people feel panicked like Damn. we don't know and that's how i think the world started the world took it serious once the nba postponed their season yeah that's when the, i think that's when everybody was like oh no nah, this shit is real nah. and then right after postponage of nba then schools drop yeah. then it was like all right something is i me, we don't know everything yeah i, go ahead, I think Alex. the first thing was tom hanks that was like yeah. when a celebrity it's not got exact. it like yeah. he was the first yeah. one. Like no, I definitely that. think the NBA was the first thing. It, no, so the NBA came the next day. Yeah. Oh, because yeah. So Tom Hanks put it out on yeah. that. I think it was Thursday or no, I'm sorry. It was on Tuesday ish that he pro he posted that, and then yeah. the NBA tested Rudy oh, yeah, Gobert yeah. on then, Wednesday. Yeah. Oh. He you know it's crazy. That Tom Hanks crazy. and his <laughs> Tom Hanks and his wife have been very positive, and shout out to them for that. But when I seen a picture of him and his wife like giving an update, kind of like you know we're doing well. I looked at his wife. I was like, well, if that's doing well, I don't want to do. That. Oh my god! <laughs> Not to be rude, but sis look. They also she um, looked famished, and I was just like, damn. Like I mean, you guys can sound alright, but from the looks of it, you guys look a little. Just white for, in the face just for quick not, updates if y'all don't know no point intended but just like they suspended ghosty. the uh, nba season uh march madness is canceled Oof. for the first time ever and that's huge if you if you're into mm -hmm. sports you know that yeah. college <laughs> like yeah <laughs> like they don't ncaa yeah. right is the NCAA, ncaa don't give a hell about nobody but their pockets okay so the fact that march madness tournament was canceled that's huge nhl uh is temporary suspended uh we don't have this up there but i was actually mo helping shout out mother move the XS the XFL was uh suspended as well. That was canceled. That just they just popped off. Uh, MLB has been pushed back at the start of the season for two weeks. MLS was suspended for thirty days. So like, yeah, yeah. like that's a lot. That's is that. it, this is different. Like mm. it's definitely different. It's definitely um a wake up call. And like you said, it's a wake up call for entrepreneurs. But excuse me, guys. <laughs> You're out. That's strike three. <laughs> Podcast over. We done. <laughs> Episode seventeen. Yeah, I don't want to smoke the more. Like, come on. Um. So, 
But all that to say, this is a wake-up call for entrepreneurs, but I really think it's a wake-up call for everybody. I don't think anybody was prepared. Um, I can honestly say for myself, I was not prepared, um, you know, as far as finances. Just, you know, you know, like I said, right now, yeah, I'm teleworking, I'm getting paid, but that's just as long as, you know, the shutdown doesn't go further because if the shutdown goes further, that means that the job's going to say we actually don't need employees at all right now. Also, mm-hmm. I'll say right now, um, on the upside, if you're into buying stocks, now is the time to do it because all the stocks are low. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you have the extra money, I would say mm-hmm. buy low right now because they're going to go back up eventually. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah. the markets this week yeah. have been terrible. Yeah. Like, I seen the, um, you seen the Sam's Club ones? Like the lines going to Oh, that yeah, was shit. The, the lines, the BJs, everywhere. I mean, the grocery stores are... You know, and I, I seen a tweet of somebody basically saying, like, you know, people kind of do monkey see, monkey do. Like, they see everybody going to the grocery store. They're like, let me go. Pause. And it's, but me. Pause, pause, pause. Because I'm tired. I hate when you, I'm sick of your shit. What did I do? We go through the whole podcast. We go through 40 minutes. And you don't touch your drink at all. Like, I just, like, I just picked up my cup, bro. This shit is full. But I've been drinking this. And this is harsh. Okay. That's probably another reason why I'm coughing. Because it's no, you coughing like because a, you... And you also gave me a double shot before we started. So I'm probably dying. Is what's happening. All right, come on. You're right. Withering away. All right. That's what's happening. All right. So all that to say <laughs> is, you know, it's just it's, it's just a lot across the board. Um, You know, buy stocks, you know, all, all these things are great. But I also think the, the majority and, you know, sorry, guys. And, you know, I got to take us to church every time because I just have to say is prayers up reflections up because this is the time where you realize nothing is promised nothing Mm -hmm. is you know going to be here forever everything will eventually die off and things new things will rebirth but things do have to come to an end so you know it's very important to stay grounded in yourself stay grounded in your family stay grinding on who you are so that you can continue to get up from these things like you know what i mean you got to be able to push forward to these from these things after all, because we are going to take a hit. This is just the beginning. You know what I'm saying? We still have two whole weeks to go through. We don't know where we're going to be Yo, at the end of the two weeks. Like, this we shit don't. can die off, you know what I'm saying, in two weeks. <clears throat> yeah. Then we can go back to normal. Always like, wish this you is, well. It's yeah. definitely serious because yeah. like, I've never seen nothing like this in my yeah. life. Yeah, me either. Me either. Well, yeah, man. So, uh, the coronavirus but, is real. Coronavirus is real. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. You know what I'm saying? Take like, a I, what you. I was going to say is, you know, about people saying, like, just everybody going to. Um, everybody going to the grocery store, of course, because if everybody's gone, we have to go because there would be no food when it's time for us to go. So we have to stock up. If you haven't gotten there, you know, you might have to travel three, four stores, but get what you need because you just never know. Batteries, flashlights, all type of things that you just may need because you just never know. Get a gun. <clears throat> yes, Jay has said we needed a gun and yeah. we are in the process because if, of getting if shit, one. If shit go down and people people are preparing like it's about to be Murphy's Law, honestly. And like I don't, I don't know if it's gonna go that far. But however, yo, just Dude, get it just because be if, if things go south, niggas are ignorant. People just want to go in panic mode. And when people go into panic mode, that's when niggas try to be stealing, yeah. niggas stealing stuff. They want to rob people. Yeah. So just get a gun. Not even because you want that negative energy. Just get a gun so you can protect your family. Right. So and like that's overall, it. just pray. Stay yeah, close pray to God. Yeah, yeah. Stay close to you know your family, and you know be kind to each other because we're all going through it. You know, if you are still out here and right now while we can, if you are still eating out, go to a small business, support them, support bartenders, Facts. support waitresses, because Facts. this is how their money is made. Facts. Um, Support them, you know. Let's so, get into this podcast, man. Get what you Martians, need. I said Murphy's A hundred right? things of lettuce Martians law. and other shit. <laughs> I, said, I said Murphy's Law. Mar- Martians Martial Law. law. Yeah, I'm sorry. You always said Murphy's. Murphy's. <laughs> That's that shit. Murphy's whatever can lost. go. I mean, honestly, whatever can go, go wrong, wrong will go wrong. wrong. I mean, so you fact. brought it. Yeah. You know, keep, you, yeah. it, it was the. You know, that's honestly, a, it's both. Yeah. Both Murphy Marshall. Let's get into the podcast. <laughs> Let's get the potting. Come on, shout yeah. Out. I'm over this Corona shit anyway because it's not stopping anything over here. I'm still getting drunk. I'm still smoking hookah. I'm still fucking. So, period. <laughs> okay, we definitely got it in last night though. <laughs> Jay was cut. I ain't going to lie, though. I feel like I ain't Jay got high last night. So I, I don't smoke he weed, was, right? He kicked my friend out so he could get nasty. I ain't really kick her out. No, he kicked her I out. I didn't kick people out before. I didn't kick her out. No, you kicked her out. He was like, yeah, so about that. She I was like, oh, yo, well. Um, I ain't going to lie, though, yo. See, I don't smoke. Maybe because I'm just uh, uh, amateur at this shit. 
But yo, the couple times I did smoke and I had sex after, oh my. High that sex over be, drunk sex. Yeah, High I, sex over drunk sex. Shit, I don't care what nobody says. But nah, 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 but High Henny, sex nah, nah, over nah. drunk sex. Nah, anybody Henny else can agree over here? Nah, hey, Henny. the whole house agrees. High sex over drunk sex. High se- any weed day. over Henny? Yes. yes. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you. Henny sex is not always fun. It might be fun for you. That shit could be a bunny not, rabbit. Nigga, like, no, it Johnson. makes you like a fucking dinosaur. Just relax. Like, that shit go Cut it great. out. Oh, like, I'm Henny? trying to get it in. I'm not trying to. <laughs> Yo, off nigga, the... be trying to fight the pussy. Like, Yo, off the you know, Henny? Henny, I mean, getting high, you like sensualize the pussy. Like, Henny just like. The it's Henny turn like you into nothing. the Incredible Hulk. Yeah, you know what I'm no, I don't want to ever talk about fuck Incredible him. Hulk. Try to, try Anybody to... else ever thought, is that a crush of y'all to ever fuck the Incredible Hulk? No. It's never been an, oh my God, I just want the Incredible Hulk to come pound my, no. Nobody thinks like that. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty no, sure no, said right no there. girl ever. No girl was like, yo, I, I know mean, the Incredible Hulk when his, his big, when his big green ass, when his big, when his I big mean, green ass get angry, I just you know. know. Yeah, Nobody's it, ever saying that. It might, it might be some that. girls that want that incredible walk in their no. life. I'm just saying. I mean. No. I'm just saying. But anyway. No. The weed makes no, you no, take your lie. time. At the, at, when you know I was smoking. At the, at, the, at the smoking. Nah, that shit gets you on a whole level. Love. You really be like, yeah, yeah. It's not. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, The the, the, the runt sex might be the runt sex might be not runts. He's the designer (laughs) weed. The designer weed (laughs) might get you right. Jay don't even smoke. He always talk about some runts and designer weed. Good night. Anything that's sixty dollars is designer weed. I don't give a fuck. (laughs) Even if it's not, I be getting some more ass bags. Be sixty sixty dollars. Sixty dollars. If you want the the extra premium shit, that's a hundred. That's a pair of shoes. And you get some Air Force. It's like, what the fuck? And I'm getting the bag this big. Yo, this shit be like this. I'm like, but it do you right. Look, you you feel all right? Let's get to pie. Ah, okay. So. But off the weed, damn, that shit had you. You be hitting the. That. Like you had, like you had a, the art, the, the slow jams in your head. You be on beat like. Last week it was off the uh, y'all put up the Drake on a fire and desire. I'm like, what the fuck, Drake? Yeah, y'all now he out here singing computer love. Computer love, come mm-hmm. on, man. Who, who sing that? Pull that up. Who? I think it's uh, not Earth Wind and Fire. Nah, that ain't that ain't them. That ain't them. Uh, computer love. Computer love. Computer computer love. What is the name? Zap. Okay. Yeah. That, mm. yeah. I didn't know the name, but yeah, let's get into the podcast. <laughs> All right. So boom, so boom. Where we at? Where we at? What's do we? What happened this week? Anything happened significant this? I mean, the coronavirus just took over everything. So yeah. I don't even think anything in our personal life happened because we were so worried about you know the overall bigger picture. She so. was acting like a brat because I was working. She was like, All right, all right, no. So first of all, Jay was walling last week. I wasn't. The last two weeks, he worked. He was working every day, all day. Night, 12 to 6 shifts at 93.9. Like, he was really wild. I never said a thing until the last day before he went to work. He was like, yeah, I'm about to go out. And I'm like, damn, you ain't even spend no time with me. Like, you about to go out before work and you already been working all day? Like, damn, where's my time? But he tried to sneak it in there. Like, he was just like, yeah, I think I'm about to go uh, go to society with the boys. And I'm just like. Let me tell you how this PTSD shit is real. I mean, not PTSD. What? PMS. P- PMS. Let me tell you how this PMS shit is. So like, I think about to come on her period, right? And like, I think we got into a big argument. Not even a big argument. Like, she was just like, I think she was trying to break up with me or some shit. Like, we take. I was. That not, was this week, right? No. Yeah, she was trying to break up with me. I swear on everything. You was. You when were like, we should take a break and just focus on ourselves and shit like that. That was like two, three weeks ago. We potted after that, so stop lying. Oh, I thought that. Look at it you. seemed like you it was just, just recent. You didn't know this. The problem is, you always want to tie every emotion I have to some t- form of PMS. Like my damn. That shit. Work, I just feel yo, away. I swear we have an argument, a big argument, once a month, and it so happens to fall. Right before she about to come on her period, I put that on everything. It, it, we have a big argument right before she. I didn't even know what PMS was until I seen it on Twitter. I'm like, oh, it makes sense now. I get it because like 
Sade was really it's like every once a month before she come on our period, we have a big argument. Am I lying? I've been saying this for months on months. Am I lying? Maybe. So it got to do with PMSing. I mean, I will say, okay, I'm just going to finally be honest and say that I think before I do come on my period, I might be a little crazy, but not in a harmful way. But I've said this before, yo, just let me have my fucking moment. Like, what the fuck? You're not bleeding for seven fucking days. Well, I don't do seven. I'm like a good four and a half. However, just give me a, a moment. Shit. Don't breathe wrong. Don't do shit wrong. Don't argue. I've said this before. Just give me what I need. Everything. Both of them. If I say yes and no, it's yes and no. Just get in order. All right, I respect that, shit. right? But what I don't like is I'd rather you just be like, you know what? I am about to come on my prayer. I might be just tripping. Like, for example. But so in that this moment, I, I don't with, think I'm tripping. Nah, this is why I fuck and with. And I swear I didn't think I was tripping. It's no. just that it might have been a come off a lot harsher. You be tripping. That's, that's, that's why I fuck with Amaya, right? So look, Amaya and her, her mother are the same person, but they different. Very different. So like... Amaya uh, was like crying about like something like she wanted to go she didn't want to know what to eat or whatever she was just getting on my damn nerves I'm like yo why you acting like that all right is it because you a girl like you just being a girl she's like yeah I'm just being a girl I'm like <laughs> yeah you know what I'm saying if you say that then I'm like I can respect that you like I'm just PMSing I might get on your nerve I might be annoying but I'm just, I can accept that you know what you know what no you know. well you just be giving me too much before like if you just be like yo you good like, you all right? You need anything? I'm like, you know, all right, baby. You be like, nah, yo, because you just like, I'm like, damn, you ain't even see what was going on. Shit. Just give me a second. All right, let's get into this podcast, man. We've anyway, been, we've been so what are we talking about today? You talking about you want to be single and shit? No, no. Let's just go ahead and talk about since we just. Yeah, we that's right. Like, yeah. So, look, speaking of periods, right? I tell Shade that I need two days after you're done your period to have sex, period. A I, day. Man. He only needs a day. No. So when you come off your period, I'm right, not trying I need to have a day. sex with you. I need, I need the next All I day. need is a day. No. 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 The, the, the day you come off your period, right? Right. I need you one day. Get an extra what do you day. think, Jewel? I only need one day. No, an extra day. But for me, I agree with y'all day. One day is cool, but I'm also curious to know why. Like, why for you need. Because, like, yo, like, I'm not trying to get blood on my dick. Like, that's. I mean, it. but she's off. Like, no. Like, no it never happens like that. Yes, never. it does. Now, hell no. No, that'd be the day, like, you know, you just be wanting to get in there. It'd be like the last day. Whatever, like we could have that. But a day is normal. Because after the saying. day. Like the, I, no, the you day said you two off, days. No, the day you come off. Yeah, I need a day. Right. The day you come off, I need an extra day. No, so but I give you a day. I give, I come off and I give you a day. Yeah, that's what you, I'm This nigga was like, no, I need a day plus a day. No, no, I'm saying the day. Because you, you be trying to have sex the day you come off. So I'm saying I need that extra day. Like, she be like it be the day she come off. She trying to have sex. I'm like, nah, look, I need another day. You know, and I'll be ready. Like, come on. I had to sit out all week. Give me a break. Nah, you only like, need a day. Jay be like, no, I need another day. Yeah, because I don't want no blood on my dick. Like, yeah, like, I don't want that shit, man. Like, <laughs> like, let's wait. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, if you First dick- of all, don't make me wait for nothing. How about that? Okay. And then girls always be like, you made my period come down. Like, no, your period was supposed to be done. Like, <laughs> Like you just, you just made it come back. Nah, down. but okay. So because of that, yeah. I, oh, that's that's exactly why I wait the day. But Jay be like, he had one little experience, and now he be like, no, nah, we need two. Matter of fact, give me three, cause just in case for the extra. I be like, no, you only need Nobody one. Blood on that dick, even though you're my girl. It's just like I don't want like, like I don't want no. And then like on your like. When so you, when, so wait. Girls I period, know girls. I know some niggas who get it in on a period. That's disgusting. Keep I'm a towel away. Keep a towel in the, in the pants. I know some girls, they lay a towel down, nah. turn the lights off. They want to have sex say? in the shower and shit. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Take, take a shower by yourself. Keep the towel I said, in the pants. I, I asked Jay one time, I said, would you put it in my butt while I'm on a pe- oh, Like, I got a tampon in. And he was like, hell no. <laughs> That's <Sorry>. disgusting. <laughs> Which one's disgusting? Just having sex while your tampon string. Right. Picture you know me looking down at Next. Phone. I'm gonna pull that bitch out just because I'm curious. Like I'm a, I'm a nigga. You know niggas always destructive. <laughs> I'm destructive, so like my ass like, put in your ass. I'm gonna see the string. I'm gonna pull that bitch out. I'm like ew. That's disgusting. That's no, that's nice. very nasty. The fact that you would be that destructive. That's so you, nasty. So you, so you think a day is fine? So basically, Jules one day says, after you end, one day. One day. I think yeah, that's yeah, just yeah. That's fine. Perfect. Yeah, that's right. fine. No, but that's you fine. told me this time you was like two. I was and, saying, I and, counted and the day you came off not as Not only one. did he tell me two, he made me wait three. No, I count the day you come off as one. I count that one day. No, but I said the day I come off plus one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. But you said two. 
So, uh, but that's what I'm saying. The day you come up, I count that as my one. Mm. So we saying the same thing. Mm. All right, so mm. we can we can agree to that. Snap, 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 snap. One like day that. after the period. One Begin day after the period. period. We can all agree to that. One day after the period. All agree. All right. I'll take that little punk ass one day. One day after the period. Lay the towel down. Blood, Blood on the leaves. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Strange bitch falling from the poppy yeah. tree. No. Jay, <laughs> go to your topic right now. Go to that no. was my topic. No, bro. your topic is not that. Your topic is Oh not. shit. Damn, I thought we get to go into a whole nother <laughs> Oh shit. Oh shit. Jay, talk your topic, bro. Alright, so all right, all right, all right. <laughs> so I'ma change my topic. I wanna talk about um no, I'm a change. the team part looking I'm like sorry, what the Cause we be having meetings. We be having, we be having the meetings that night be looking like <laughs> Joe's um morning scratch Joe's scratch her head like uh what the we fuck are we doing? Saturday, 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 like, wait, what? And this nigga get on here and talk about I'm gonna change my topic. You I'm know? sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's, I apologize to the team. Like, you know, like, Jay does what he yeah. wants to no, do. No, I'm a team player. I don't do that. <laughs> all right, no, so look, do it, change your topic. Cool. All right, all right so I we wanted to talk because we talked about this, right? And I just thought about it. I wanted to talk about marriage, right? All right, boom. And how long you should or shouldn't wait. And I say this because come on, let's talk about I told Shade that. I definitely want to get married to her. Like, I, I'm a guy that know what I want, exactly what I want. However, I know exactly what I want. So it's like, I don't I want to get married to Shade, but I got to pay my debt off first. She like, it might take you five years of like, well, I won't, I'm not getting married until I pay so my Jay debt. So Jay says that he wants to pay off all his debt. How much debt do you think you have to pay off? It's only like 50. Okay, 50,000, right? That's fine. You know, Jay, we all know that he is going to be bigger than big. We all know he's going to make it. Now, according to life schedule, we have no say when God decides to open these doors. So this can be two years, three years, six years, seven years. He's going to get there. We don't know. So all I said is, well, She's if not it waiting. takes... No. You well, literally said, I'm not, I don't, I'm not, I don't want to wait All I'm years. saying is, if it takes you... Eight years to pay off this goddamn debt. I mean, I don't know. I'm about to be 30 this year. I, I'm Shay, not trying to get married me. at 40. So you're going to leave me? No, me. I'm trying to convince you that you're going to have to understand that you're going to have to add on your debt. Nah, I'm not trying. Because well, what okay. happens is... There, you have $50,000 in debt. What's the average amount of debt that Americans are in right now? Anybody know? Like, what? What you, what you think, Alex? Pull it you up for us. Up. So only thing, only thing I say that is because, yo, I'm at 50 right now. To get married... That's gonna be what another fifty, um, depending. You know what I'm saying. Much, you know what it, I mean, my wedding. Gonna, I need a big wedding with a lot of flowers and. A, that's what my people's is doing a destination wedding. That's why we're going to Jamaica. Right call, call her. <laughs> if she don't mind, call her and see how much a destination. If, if we do a destination wedding. Are you paying for it? Just like the preacher. But uh, you still gotta pay for the preacher. No, you don't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Call. Uh, we gonna find out. Call her. What's the What's the average? Like, Alex, you pull it up. Uh, the average is just tell us. I don't know. Let me see what's tick. Let me see what's tick. The average median household, sixty one. That yeah, sixty one. Median household. I'm at fifty by myself. For wedding? <laughs> no, no, this is the average debt right now. The yeah. average debt. The average debt for the average American household. is 60. For the household. household. Household, so that's, 30, so that's 30,000 a piece. Yeah, right. pretty much if it's two. I'm trying to pay my debt off. You uh-huh. know what yeah. <laughs> Jana might be busy, so I don't know. It's Sunday fun day. You know, the girls get it in on Yikes. Sunday fun day, so they did, might did, be out. Did Cal uh, plan his wedding already? Let me see something. I'm going to ask him. How much so, we they're doing a destination wedding. We're going to Jamaica prohibiting, yeah, you know, everything falls in line. April 2nd. Um, <clears throat> but so this is what I was saying about the destination wedding because we basically, so they're having it at this beautiful resort, but you pay to go. You pay your flight. You Everybody basically pays to go. So you really only are responsible for the reception, whatever you want to do with your, you know, as a group. But like, you know, we still like, we paid for the excursion. We paid, you know what I'm saying? Which is smart. I think it's smart shit. You know, shit. <laughs> like, come on. You want to come here? Come on. Well, niggas ain't I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I have to correct that. Yeah. It's not. I'm sorry. The median household income is oh, sixty-one thousand. Okay. The average debt is a hundred and thirty-seven thousand. Oh, we get married, married today. Fuck all right, it. So, 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 all right, all right. So, my my take on this is, only reason I want to, it's so important to me because I want to pay off. I want to pay off my debt because I'm adding more debt. So it's like right. if I can pay off my debt, I don't mind getting you a twenty thousand dollar ring. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, but, okay, so that's that's the thing, right? I don't really think I need a twenty thousand dollar ring. I'm just I seen, I seen some beautiful rings for a thousand. To be honest, I'm oh, just being honest. Less, then. We can get I don't need a twenty thousand dollar ring. No, so hold on, hold say on, hold on, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. So they say that you know your ring cost is typically three month, three three month checks. I think that's like how they do it. I don't know. I've never been married. How know. we judge that from an entrepreneur though? From an entrepreneur, I guess you would take your gross sales for the year from last year, right? But and then this you would could be you different. break it down. It could be different every year, but take your you want to take your average of sales, right? Okay. Um, and then you go three three months of that, right? But all I'm saying is fuck the ring. What I'm saying is this, right? The only thing is what you're doing and saying is very smart. I agree with that. Like it's hundred percent. Like we want to be out of debt before we make any other big financial decisions fine however i also said that when it comes to marriage and when you get married that is really we're really only talking about the wedding when we're talking about this because we could go to the courthouse mm. and we don't got to pay none of that you don't want to do that i no, because that would mean that i really just want the wedding and i don't want the marriage mm. i'm good about the marriage we could go to the courthouse you feel what i'm saying so we you could okay get, with that you could give me the ring we could go to the courthouse we could postpone the wedding as long as we need to but what you're not about to tell me is you want to take forever to marry me but keep fucking me and we not there because you don't want to pay for a wedding that's not that's, that's a, not what no, we're that's gonna do fair, i feel like that's there a we fair, go we can, that's a fair medium if so, we get if we yeah, get right at the courthouse no, yeah like we could get married for the courthouse it's people who do that all the time they get married at the courthouse they postpone the wedding until they can afford the wedding and they could have the wedding of their dreams and what you do i'm absolutely okay with that because i'm not getting married for the wedding i'm getting married for this union so we could stop sending out a wedlock to be honest like if you want to go there you know what i'm saying come on let's talk to him I'm you know what i'm that. saying nah, let's I, I, run I, I, it alex that. what you got to say you just want to like say that. something no nah, no nah, no nah. i was just gonna say that my cousin did that like he got married at 23 at the and then he just had a reception at his house I mean, and yeah. that's it. But I like that. Yeah, like, I mean, I can't get married. Yeah, because what we really are, we are paying know. for other people to come celebrate our union. Hey, Nate, this is my line, brother. Hey, Nate, you on the, uh, the podcast? You on the podcast, Nate. <laughs> Just letting you know. All right, so if you don't mind, um, we're going to call him Chris. Chris. Chris mm -hmm. is on the line. You already said Nate, you right. fool. So, all right. <laughs> Nate, if you don't mind, we talk, we, we're talking um, getting married. And I told Sade that I didn't want to get married until after I paid off my debt. But the conversation is about the average wedding expense. I know you got married. You you didn't have a destination wedding, right? No. So how much, how much was your wedding in total, if you don't mind? Ballpark. Okay, they had, a, right. they had a good wedding, so yeah. that's not bad. Yeah, see, there we go. Twenty to twenty-five thousand. All right, there we go. All right, well, all right. Thank you, Nate. That's so. Thank you. That's all we wanted to know. Uh, all right. Thanks, all right, have a good Nate. Day, <laughs> all right, man, you all right. See, right. see, see, not, see. We, we see. That's we not ain't bad. Got to get to fifty. Me, you know what I'm saying? I'm but wait, that's just the wedding because when you talk about the ring, I'm. I think that all goes inclusive. All right. That's not bad. So yeah, but all I'm saying is we don't get have... married next year, but <laughs> come on, don't dap me, pound me. Monique said we don't got we don't got to play for the hair. Period. You know, oh, I'm gonna find a finesse and all the Janae gonna do my nails. All my all my sisters is getting in the business. I'm gonna be good. You know what I'm saying? So some of those expenses I'm a, I'm can start, go down right, the drain. So a, but I'm sorry. Another rebuttal is I need the crib. That's I'm not fine. getting was, all these bills. Okay, so I mean, so first of all, bills, okay, debt. so here's where we're talking about. Because you talking about you need a crib, you are going to be in debt because when you get your house, a house is right. But a I'm debt. not trying to go into like a meal plus what the other debt. So you want to pay off a house before we get not, married? No, 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 no. And when houses is thirty year no, mortgages. No, I don't want to pay about? it off. But if we can get rid of the debt that I have, the debt that you have, and we can get rid of that and go into marriage with like let's say three hundred and fifty or four hundred and fifty. All I'm Not, saying is this like, sounds. I don't all I'm saying is shit. it sounds good. It sounds amazing. I love what you would like to do, but that is to say that you'll be rich in the next year, and because we cannot guarantee that, like, there's no way. Like, there's no way. Can you pay fifty thousand of debt right now? No. Can I pay my well, fifty thousand? Uh, almost is way thirty thousand. No. Fifty is better than trying to pay off two hundred and fifty. That's fine. But what I'm saying is that would be you big. Uh, so. This is what I mean, right? Let's take out all like all the wealthy talk right now. Let's say say if we forever, not forever, but in the next 10 years, 
where we are is our max amount of money. Mm -hmm. To say that we could pay off fifty thousand dollars is is kind of. I think I'm gonna pay not. off fifty thousand dollars in ten years. No, yes, in right, ten so, years, but I'm not trying right, to wait to ten years to get married. I'm right, gonna be so forty. My question is, I don't want to get married at forty. Right, my question is, to how, be honest, because I'm trying to have a baby for that. You know what I'm saying? We keep talking about, you know what I'm saying? I keep trying to get you this baby. So how long? But I need to be also had a ring to have this baby. So how long are you? You know what I'm saying? And it, I ain't trying to wait ten years. Honestly, female so, clock, we can't wait so that long been, to have a baby. We've been to be together honest. for two years. Yeah, we've been together for two years. How long are you willing to wait to get married? I got about. I am. I don't even want to tell you that, just in case you wait to the last second. What? I'm saying. <laughs> I don't want to tell you, because if you go to the last second, I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> but okay. So that's not how long. All right, all right. Because... So if What's I had to okay, wait, ha okay, right? So not I'm gonna be, have, I'm gonna what be thirty. Your... I'm gonna be thirty in November, right? This is my thirtieth birthday. This is my golden year. I got about thirty three, thirty four to mm. get married. And that's real because for me, it's just not well to you. <laughs> See, if you know, all God goes well and we're still together. Yeah, I, I got 33, 34. <clears throat> now, if I end up going single, you know, for any reason you break up with me or some shit, I'm going to say you because, you know, I ain't going to break up with you, babe. But I'm going to say you just in case you dump me or some shit. I mean, I'm lying. You'll never dump me. But, you know, just hypotheticals for anybody else. <laughs> like, he's not leaving me. <laughs> Period. So, just hypotheticals for anybody else. If I, like, say if I was to go single in the next couple years, I would wait. Like, I had no choice because I'm not rushing, you know what I mean, just to get married. I don't have no, like, for single women, I don't want to give that the wrong impression. I don't want to say because you're single, if you're single at 33, you need to be married by 34. I don't want nobody to be like, yeah, because, you know, I need to be with and then go settle. No, I'm not saying settle. If I go single, then fuck it. Like, I might not even get married. Fuck it. If, if shit. If I don't get married by 34, fuck it. Fuck, fuck them. Fuck him. Fuck all of them. <laughs> fuck niggas. Okay, so I'm 30, out here being a rich auntie, 33. rich mommy. <laughs> okay, I'm traveling with my kid and I'm living a, a large life. But with me and you, I got 33, 34. All right, okay. That's, That's cool. three, four years. All right. You know, don't wait that long. <laughs> nah, I like that. I like that. <laughs> we could go, go, go sooner. <laughs> don't do that. All right, you know what right. I'm saying? But, yeah. So. I like it. I like you it. Like it? All yeah, right, that works. Come on. Cheers, man. Cheers. Boom. Okay. So, you know, I know we're just talking about marriage life. <laughs> Shout out to want to be single so bad. But I just want to talk about my topic today is morning single life. Morning meaning reminiscing, missing, sometimes wanting to be by yourself, not feeling like you're in a relationship, being free and all these things morning relationships. So first of all, Jay, I want to say, have you ever felt like you mourned being single? Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, I bet. Wait, 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 wait. Who um, did you? Did I mourn being single? Mourn um, being single. I think, um, the way you put it the other day when we was talking on the meeting, kind of because like, it be like, yo, I just want to do my thing. Like, I don't yeah. want to have to report to nobody. Right. You know, I hate that. Even when like Amaya be yeah. like, wow, I hate that. Like, yeah. he's like, yo, let me do what I want to do. Yeah, but yeah. it's been I've been more being single, but I have been like, damn, shorty fine as shit, or shorty fat as shit. Yeah, but to I other really, women. Yeah, I don't really. Yeah, but I don't really like mourn it though. Yeah, because like, I think honestly, to be honest, bro, I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest. I think I might get a kick out of being in a relationship. Yeah. Tell me more. So, so. So I ain't gonna lie. So like now that I'm thinking about it, right? I think it's the first time I ever. Yeah, shake your head, Alex. It's the first time I ever spoke on this though. Like so, like when I'm in a club, and, like girls be because girls be throwing it up, throwing it, throwing it at me, right? But oh, do they now? Not, not, I mean, because girls just be wanting attention. Honestly, like it ain't because I'm the best looking nigga in the world. It's just I think you bitches just gotta. Fine, though. Thank you. I, I think I never thought I was like fine, fine though. I just thought I had charisma. Like honestly. Yeah, but uh, girls love a uh, charming. Swaggy nigga. Yeah, so like, like, you don't get. I keep telling the girls don't need. First of all, I don't never like a pretty nigga, and I don't like a pretty nigga who think he prettier than me for sure. So that's never been my steez. So girls is not looking for the most. They love a nigga with charisma, charm, swag, just so, that it factor. Saying, saying that, I you think got I, that. I think I definitely am like charming or whatever, right? But and flirt and on top of being like on being top of being a host or whatever. I think that girls just throw it at me, but I say that to say I think I get a kick out of. Seeing it, but challenging myself not to go after it. 
Mm-hmm. I never thought about that, but I think like I think because I hadn't I haven't had to do that, and I just pretty much did what I wanted to do. Now it's like, especially if she attractive, if an attractive woman come at me. It I think to not to boost be, your little ego to not yeah not even that though to not get her number is like it's kind of like when you were single and you wanted to see if you could get her number if that makes sense. It's a challenge. Like like no, nah, it's like a challenge. It's like yo, okay, I'll all right, she's that. attractive. I know she look good. Yeah. She could get it. Somebody but let's see. Cole? Yeah, another one. Another Cole. A Cole please. Let's see. Let's see if you can go the distance. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that that might be a kick. And I, ne- I never had, I literally never had this conversation. But now mm-hmm. that I'm thinking about it, I think like sometimes I'd be in the club like, yo, let's see if you really can. Really hold it down. You get what I'm saying? Like, let's see if you can hold it down. Yeah, fine or not, bitch, cute as hell. You get what I'm saying? Let's like, let's do that. Yeah, let's see if you can hold you it down. I'm gonna get a regular lighter. No, that works. It oh, works. it worked. You worked. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. So I, I think I think that's doing. one. Uh, another thing is um, that's really it though. Okay. But I definitely, I like it, but... I've, I've 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 definitely more like yeah. Like, well, I wouldn't say more though, right? Like you want to say more? No, nah, like I like I. I so uh, uh, maybe if you want to say like us arguing and shit. Yeah. But nah, I never really yeah. mourn. Yeah. So something. for me, like I I don't I don't want to say like I mourn. But what happens is, like, sometimes, like you said, like, you know, sometimes we'll be arguing or just, like, the check-in spe- aspect of things, like, or just kind of doing things you're on your own without having to always worry about somebody else. Like, mm. I think I think that's the majority of it for me. Like, some days, like, most days, I, I'm in full girlfriend mode. I'm in full mommy mode. I'm in full, like, you know, I love my family. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like this. But there is some days when I'm in my bag. And some days I'm like, ugh. Like, I don't want to worry about somebody else. And shit, it even comes with parenting, too. Like, I think it's really just of being that single person, yeah. not being single. It's just being a person individual. by your, an individual yeah, yeah, yeah. by yourself, Facts. not not a girlfriend. Shit. And I even have to say it for, you know, the parents out there, not a parent. Some days you're like, Ugh, I don't want to worry about what they're going to eat today. I don't want to worry about what the fuck they got going on. I don't want to pull up to his hosting. I don't want to pull up to her recital. Like, I don't want to do any of this. I'm going to go do my own thing. I'm going to go hang with my bitches and I'm going to go be me by myself. And I, I think like that I is a, a normal, I think leeway you give me, boy, I have my own leeway <laughs> talking about you give I'm me. saying I think I, I, You see how niggas really I, talk about I, I give you. First of all, you don't I'm give I promote, me. I, I encourage no, that. What I will say is Jay does definitely encourage me doing my own thing. Jay is not a stifling boyfriend, which makes it very good. But even without being stifling, it still can be a feeling. And the reason why I, want, I was talking about it is because I think a lot of people are, you know, or it's either one or two. I think a lot of people feel bad to say it and people make people feel bad to say it. Mm. Feel bad to be like, yo, like uh, today I like, I just don't want to be a girlfriend today. Like I want to be with my bitches and feel like that bitch today. Feel but like, think, uh, you know, so like, part of yeah, that, like, like kind of bullshit. A part of that is giving a nigga your number. No, I don't think it has nothing to do because, with my, so, nigga my number. So do you think I it's don't. because, so, so, I don't only, think only I, I don't think it has to do with anything of a nigga to be right, honest. So I, I know you went into like, oh, you know, some girls be looking good, fat ass. To me, it don't even got nothing to do with a nigga. Only to be what, honest. Uh, so only other thing I think about is that that can be stifling to that is because we got one car, maybe. Because you can everything you just named, you can do. I don't, but no, it's not even a one car thing. I think like um, I don't ask you. I don't really be pressing you. I don't like. I don't no, be, but it's not even about that. I think a lot of it is just about. Really just, again, just being my individual, like even just, just sometimes it's just like, all right, sometimes, you know, we text through the day, like what we're doing, like what we're about to do, like how we're about to go do it. Like what, you know, what's our day consists but I don't of, ask for that. like you don't ask for that, but that's what a relationship consists of, of communication regardless. Sometimes I just don't want to communicate but with I don't anybody. Ask you, to communicate. you don't have to ask, but that is a part of like relationship. I feel like that's and a that's part of, you, no, it's not that I need. I don't, it's not that I need, I feel like that's a part of any relationship. If you have to communicate, you have to communicate what's going on through the day. Well, Where we, we at before, the rules of a relationship. but because no, because I to. think, no, I still think those things are important. I don't want to change the rules. I'm saying that there's just sometimes that I feel like, ugh, here we go. But like, sometimes you, know what I mean? you don't have to though, babe. I know that. But the point is out of respect for my relationship, I'm always going to communicate because if we're not being communicative, we're opening a door for miscommunication right. and I'm not open so to that. You, you ever, you ever looked at a nigga like, damn, he can get it. Get it? No, I've seen niggas, you know, and he's fine. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he looks like he's doing his thing. Yeah, but not like Sammy could get it. Fine. <laughs> yeah, he did try to trick me, but you said it. The fuck? Don't double standards me. You was like, oh, she might find a fat ass. 
yeah, some swaggy niggas out here. You know what I'm saying? But I don't be looking for not, like, you know what I'm saying? I be like, oh, he's, you know what I'm saying? All right, cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't, and I'm not looking into it. Very committed, baby. Damn, you niggas know at, I'm committed too. So then you be looking at niggas like, damn, he fine as shit. Nah, do you be looking at, you be looking at bitches like, damn, she fine as shit. You just told me already. Go ahead, lie. How you gonna lie in the same segment? You was a whole lie. You just a lie. A big ass lie. Gemma like, lie. Nah. A Gemma lie. I look at bitches like, damn, <laughs> she could get it type like. You do fuck, that? Like you fucking. Be, but you, be, I, but my, my, you be looking at girls like you could fuck her? But I don't look at that. Shut as, the podcast off. I don't look Shut at. The podcast I don't think that's the same thing. I'll knock this whole table down. I don't think that's the same thing as Why like don't... wanting to like fuck a girl and be about my business and that's it. I think that's. A, I don't look like. I think that's like, a man logic. Oh but, my god, but, she's uh, so about, okay. fun. I want. But like, because no. the fact that we're a, a woman and that girl is a woman, then it wouldn't just be a fuck for her. So to me, that's a no go because like you could be thinking like, oh, I fuck her, but to her, that he fucks me, he likes me. Hell no. Okay, but that's how women think. Okay. That's yeah. how women think. So yeah, it, it, that's all good for you, but you better not let her relay that motherfucking message, because then she's like, "Oh, he likes me. He wants to fuck." Okay. All right, I get it. Makes sense. All right. Um, that was I like that. Yeah, but overall, like you know, my whole point to that was just like you know, being okay to be able to say like you know what I'm saying. Sometimes it's okay to miss reminisce or just sometimes when you were just an individual it's, it's okay no it's be no okay with because it. I, like i said and it'd be okay with it because like i said like sometimes i'm even like that it's nothing personal to jay because i'm like that with my own damn kid love my kid to death love being a mother love all these things but some days i wake up like uh she got shit going on i gotta run her here i gotta take her to the doctor I and that's do why this. like that's, it's just annoying that's why you and be it's so the upset same me, thing because you be like because i gotta Focus on, I got to make sure my Yeah, because okay. I got to do times too. I got to worry about you. I got to worry about her. Not to say that you don't. You do the same thing. But for me, I'm, I only can tell my truth. My truth is sometimes that shit is annoying worrying about you both. Sometimes I want to dip out on both of y'all, go to a fucking island, sit there with my bitches, sip a fucking margarita, not think about y'all, take a fucking donkini pick, and fucking love, look, period. <laughs> Okay, that's, that's sometimes that's just what I want to do. Let's have some fun, babe. All right, let's get it. All right, yeah. so. You got your shit together this time? I got a little sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Okay, so it's not, you know. Oh, my God, it's gone. Uh, All right, let me get it. All right, getting it back because I got to go find it again. Now, what you, what you? I had it. I should have oh, screenshot it, on... it. Yeah, I had it on my fucking thing. Damn. Damn, I'm mad. I think my and my shit timed out, but go ahead. It's all good. So, like, my, 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 um, I feel like. I don't know why I chose this or why we chose this. Cause I feel like we're gonna say the same thing. But okay, hey, Alex, you put the um Yeah. Alright, so look, mine was all right. If I gave you fifty dollars to go to the casino, right? And you want a hundred thousand. Jane is calling. I just want to get this answer. Yeah, yeah, let's go back to it. Let's go back to it. Hey Jane girl. Hey, baby boo. Okay, so you're on the podcast and I'm calling you and you're you're being filmed right now. So Oh my god. <laughs> I just had a why question. You want to put me on this- Hey, it's Jana on the it's Jana in the house. Jana Love, follow her. So, just a question. We're talking about marriage on the podcast, and my friend is getting married with her phenomenal husband. They are such a bomb couple, might I add. But we were talking about expenses in a wedding, and we were talking. If you don't mind sharing about a destination wedding, what that? How much? How much do you think you guys are spending on a destination wedding? Girl, a lot less than what we'd be spending here. I mean, it's just much simpler. The planning's easier. Yes. And it's just way cheaper, especially if you find a resort that includes different things. Like right. If you get a certain amount of people, like, they'll do food, drinks, whatever. And it's just easier. Like, my thing is, I like, like, peace of mind. I don't be liking the stress. So right. So, do everything for you. But here, it's just a lot. And so, you have to plan a lot for yourself. And right. it's just way more expensive. So, so like, Jaina. We at um we at so my friend he didn't have a destination wedding, he's at uh he said twenty five thousand for his hit wedding here. If you don't mind, she said no, mm-hmm. no, no, right, right. If you, if you don't <laughs> mind, let us know. Everyone is different. No, nah, so my it, thing was I'm not trying to go into debt. Right. Have credit and cards for a wedding, but everyone is different. So, so that's what we at though. So if you don't mind, well, how much? How much, how how much, much you is think? your destination wedding? I'm wow, like, that's good. Yeah, I feel like no more than 15. And I'm not like, and I've got like a separate thing for everyone. Like, it's, I will admit, you do a lot of research and Instagram helps. Like, you search the, the hashtags, whatever you find, like, 
DJs, like different people for decor that might be cheaper. So you can get what you want. You just got to do research. Right. But for me, I'm not sending that person on a wedding. There we go. 15. All right, all right. So wait, wait, wait. Jenna, you heard wait, Jenna wait, said wait. it. Her wedding about last, to be lit. We in Jamaica. Last, last question. Last, last question, Jaina. But does that include the ring? Or that's separate? The ring, the ring is separate. Okay, period. <laughs> See? Period, period, period. All right. Okay, thank you, Jaina. You're all featured right, in the so podcast. Right. Love you. Bye. Love Bye. All right, all right so if, if I gave you $50, right, you want $100,000, how much is you giving me back? A, so you hold, give, so wait, you give me fifty dollars. You win a hundred thousand at the casino. We're at the casino, yeah. and I win a hundred thousand. You give me fifty. How, how much you giving me back? You give me zero. You give me fifty dollars back. You giving me fifty thousand, or you giving me a thousand? I'm giving you fifty thousand, baby. You already know. We break that everything. Easy. That's so easy for us. We break everything. I make a hundred thousand, fifty for you, fifty for me, for them, or we just gonna blow through a hundred thousand together. <laughs> Facts. Whichever way we're gonna do but it. That's why I said we only had to give each other money. Yeah. Like, yeah you got I'm just going to pop. You got your shit? You ain't find it? So, no, because it's like, was way down the list. I, so, just apologies to the team because you know I have really been. Let's freestyle. All right, freestyle. Okay, so. Get ratchet, get ratchet. All right, get ratchet. Get ratchet. Let's get ratchet. Let's get ratchet. Hey, hey, hey. I learned that dance. I can't stop doing it. So clearly, I would I would have asked you, drunk right. sex or high sex, but clearly it's high, high sex. High sex all the way. All right. all right, so, boom. Could you be with somebody who doesn't give you head? Damn. Wait, is she not good at head or she don't give me head? Okay, one, stick to the question. Just getting head. No, because I would want to know why you're not giving me head. Like, honestly. Does, be- the, does the answer matter? So no. if it was like some dope reason, I don't know. Yeah. So honestly, that that spiritual side, like I just don't do head. Nah. Oh, okay. What if it's I only give head to my husband? Mm. Oh, fair. I would accept that. You would like, accept honestly, that. Like I feel like you know, like I don't. I'm not really like I don't care. Do about you it. give head? Does do okay? But I would have question. to give you. Head, that just stemmed another. I would question. have to be able to give you head though. All right. So you don't get head. But what if? It, oh, if I like she that. said I couldn't I like give her that. head, it probably. Would be, nah, I wouldn't. I don't know. All right. So, but. What if no, no head in a relationship at all? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. I gotta, so, I gotta. So let me ask you this. Do you give head to everybody you don't, do, like everybody you have sex with, do they all get head? You answer that question. I'm asking. You answer that question. I'm fucking asking. No, girl. Oh, just so curious. Because <laughs> <Damn. laughs> I don't know. You, you got know. a, as a girl, do you got an ugly body that you don't tell nobody? An ugly body? Like a bo- body I hit? Yeah. That's ugly? Yes, yeah, you don't tell nobody. That I don't tell nobody? That you wouldn't tell nobody. Because I feel like as men, we all got that one that we ain't telling nobody. Really not. Like, really not. Like, I ain't telling. Like, you fucking. Really, that. really. Boy, really. No. <laughs> I had to get the nut off. All right. It just, it just, Niggas it was necessary. Fuck a crackhead. Not God that damn. Damn. <laughs> if it's the right, time, the right time, the right situation, you're damn right. You're damn right. Yeah. What? No cap. Nah, I I don't know. I think that's a man thing because I just. What you yeah, think? Yeah, that's definitely a man thing. Yeah, because no. So you don't have no ugly body. That, that I'm you... not telling. Nah. Yeah. No. Nah, nah. That's a man thing. I'm sorry, y'all. Don't, y'all don't with that baby boy. All right, whatever. And hey, let's run through this real quick. Let's get it. Uh, let's talk about this. Let's talk about the um. Mm-hmm. We had the college shit, right? Where is it? I don't see it. No, we, we are had at it trending there, topics. I know, but that was um, one of our big party or small gatherings. By the way. Oh, who did that? Who did that? Yeah, good, good job, job, Alex. Big party or small gatherings? That's the same as a bar or a party no, or club. No, pick one. Big small, party. Small gathering. All right, so with the coronavirus going around, I'm going to say the small gathering. However, on a regular, I love me a big, like, I, I love a function. Like, yeah. I love a good Number lit 18, crazy. party. All right? New clothes or new phone? New clothes, you know. I need a fucking new phone so bad. New clothes, easy. Nah, new clothes though. <laughs> new clothes me. <laughs> Chanel me. Um, rich friend or loyal friend? Oh, loyal friend by default. What the fuck, Jay? You know how I think, bro. We I ain't going to hold you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. If I, I said I ain't going to hold you. I need me right? a, loyal, a rich a, friend right now. If I had a rich friend, then I'm going to inherit being rich because I'm going to think the way he think, kind of. You know what I'm saying? And then, what, like, not saying I want something from what him. If, what if your rich friend is selfish? No, I, that's what I'm saying. I don't want nothing from him, but I can learn from him. That's it. I can, like, what he, if they rich from inheritance, family wealth? 
Sheesh, yeah. Hey, Come on. knowledge gets passed down. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna take me a loyal. I'm gonna take me a loyal friend to the fault because we gonna get rich one way or motherfucking another, and we gotta do research a, to get motherfucking rich and inspiration. We gonna do that, that but that you know loyal motherfucker is gonna make sure we get rich because they're loyal to me you know and they gonna stick to the plan, stick to the dream, and we gonna get there regardless. That's a, that's loyal friend. That's hundred percent. And shout out to my team because my team is loyal. Right? Loyal. But hold up, team. But hold up. Let me play devil's advocate. Let me let you, let you know why I would rather have a rich friend than a loyal friend because a loyal friend. When that shit, when that shit hit the fan, listen. Even ice is solid until heat hit it. That shit sure. melt. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is like, a loyal loyal friend, to, everybody loyal until them dollars come out. Mm, and everybody loyal. I don't you. agree with that because I've been telling you right now, I'm loyal to the soil. Facts, but I'm saying every, to the soil. Everybody, you hear me? everybody, so it could all go down. I'm gonna be loyal because that's just what's in me. Like every, so, even if I got as fuck it, we out here. Everybody loyal until some shit go down. You know what I'm saying? Him. So I rather have a rich friend because I can learn from that friend how to get rich. Mm. That's playing devil's advocate. Work hard or play hard? No. Work hard. Like, <laughs> like, no. Nice no. car, nice home. I need both. Nice car, nice home. Nice home. I'm all for the home. Fuck the car. I'll drive a motherfucking Buick to yeah, home. fucking 1992 the, uh, Buick and have a beautiful home. Shout out to the team. Yeah, shout out to the yeah, team. Yeah, yeah. Good shit with the pickup. Let's, um, let's run through this. Hold let's, on. We, what's, what's right above this? Um, oh, boom. There we go. Yeah, boom. let's go into this. And then all what right, we got, all right, let's 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 run through this real quick. Uh, and it's a conversation for all of us. Mm-hmm. So they despite wait what? Oh, I see. Go into that, Alex. Just go ahead, introduce it. So basically, uh, a study came out saying that most recent like new college grads are making less than well twenty five thousand dollars or less, mm. um, which is ridiculous. And the reason why topic we're talking about is because a lot of us graduated within the last five to ten years, mm-hmm. you know, uh, with the expectation of when except we except for Shade though, she graduated like eleven years ago. Okay, except You're for Shade, you the goat. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but we we all we all went to college. Well, most of us went to college with the expectation of you know what they sold us going into it. You know, mm-hmm. we come out, you get a good job, you're able to secure the bag. Right. But the reality mm-hmm. is. It don't happen. Us graduate so. with a degree, and these motherfuckers talking about so twelve, thirteen dollars an hour. Yeah. What's, what's your, your experience is just Joel, because y'all both had like kind of similar. Well, my experience when I first graduated, I was making three hundred every two weeks mm. in my field, mm. uh, and I was commuting two hours every day yeah. to my job. Um, but uh, something that I I would say is the experience that I got was priceless. Mm. So I mean, with those situations, especially determining like specific fields get what you need out of the experience i mean make the best of every situation you may not be getting the money that you want right there and then but the networks the people that you yeah. meet may jump off yeah. uh your career and put you in a situation that you would have never yeah. expected so i mean you got to vet every situation yeah but the sad thing is niggas is getting paid like 300 dollars yeah. every two weeks yeah and it's crazy because it's a lot of people's story like that like i think that um Honestly, in your field, they, it's like it's like they want you to have experience to get paid, but it's like, how the fuck am I going to get experience? Facts. Like, I thought going like, to school you know, was the experience. Right. I thought, exactly. School is supposed to be experience, but they're like, you know, but after that, you need more experience or more experience and more experience for me to deem you as credible to pay you the amount to be certified. And realistically, you would think after you get that degree, I'm certified. That's what the fuck, like, I'm getting, tr- yeah, you guys put me, I have to do hours and Oh, like I did it. Like, what else do you want from me? Mm-hmm. Like, what more do you want from me? Um, Jewel went went to school. She yeah. graduated, and you was trying to get a job in your field too. And yeah, yeah. so <clears throat> for me, it was definitely a struggle when I first graduated because I was a communications major, and in that field, it's hard finding that full time gig that's going to pay you with the good benefits, the good right. salary. So I spent a lot of time freelancing and just kind of yeah. like having that entrepreneurial hustle. To yeah. stay determined to so make kind of like it forced work. you to be an entrepreneur. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's like either to... just settle for something just to right. get some money right. coming get in, your money. Get, your, own, like, get your money. Yeah. Damn. So, Shout out, but you, you went to college part. I think you. Yeah. Were, your I did a lot of different. Well, no, I went to college. I don't work in the field. You know, I also started as nursing. You know what I mean? Um, that's just what my family did. They wanted to do nursing. I did all the nursing. Um, came out and um, mine was a little different because I so. It's weird because my whole fa- family are nurses. They're all RNs and they're all doing these things. I did that and I realized that's not what I saw myself doing mm. at all. So I never worked in my field ever. So from that, I actually 
didn't, I actually by voluntary kind of switched, you know, but it still put me in debt. Right. You know what I'm saying? I still got to pay this debt back because I don't work in these fields. And it's weird because I could have gotten positions in that, but they still did want to pay me significantly low and want me to work the graveyard shifts, you know, to do these things. I'm not like, yo, I got a kid. Like, I can't work graveyard shifts and still be able to pick my kid up from daycare mm -hmm. and, you know, feed her dinner and do those things. And I, that was completely off the table for me. I was like, no, I'm not doing that. So, you know, from there, I branched off to working at, like, you know, I think my first major job was at, like, Verizon. I was, you know, doing phone reps. And Verizon is what actually paid me my first real check real job. of giving me money. And this is Verizon. We're talking about phones. Mm -hmm. Phone sales. We're talking about and sales and commission. Part, for like, me, that's the part that's kind of sad because it's like yeah. you go into college thinking that it's a <coughs> higher expectation of when I graduate, yeah. I'll get this job that's going to pay me more and I'll be more successful. I'll have the benefits I'll need. Yeah, I'll have like, everything I need. Yeah. And like you said, you graduated and you went to school for nursing, but then you yeah. had to work at Verizon. Right. Yeah. I went to work at Verizon. Like, yeah. and it's like, you know, and then even leaving Verizon, I went into waitressing. Like, you know, my second job was as a waitress at Cheesecake Factory. I had that job for five years through college. I even went and got more certifications in nursing because I wanted to be able to work, you know, in like a clinic, like nine to five so that I didn't have to, you know, sacrifice my motherhood to be able to work these slave jobs, you know, just to deem credible to, you know, eventually have a title to make my own schedule, et cetera, et cetera. But it really didn't do me good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it didn't do me good. I ended up now I work for the government, not doing nothing I went to school for, not doing nothing what I started out for, but I went to what's going to pay me and what's going to be suitable and where I can move up in the company and still be able to be a credible mother and have a normal life. But it has nothing to do with schooling. It has nothing to do with school, not trade, none of that. That's all just off of what I picked up along the way from school. Like, you know, just being hella organized and be able to do program management and be able to, you know, be a proficient at Excel and Microsoft and be able to put these documents together and be able to follow these charts and things like that. But that's what I picked up along the way. So school was still worth it. Don't get me wrong. And even those, everything I went through was always worth it. But in the end, like, did I have to go through it that way? No. And see, that was a question. No. Sorry to cut you off, but that was a question I was going to ask you yeah. both of you guys. Like, do you feel like overall it was worth it? Do you feel like you could have where you are now. Do you yeah. feel like you could have got here without school? Yes, so, I do. Yeah. Actually, no, I no, do. No, I do. I, I do. So I do. Al, that's what I was about to say. I, I feel like all this shit is really about who you know. Right. To so, be honest, so I, I really do. Our experience is different. So what I was about to say is, through my experience, because I went to HBCU, yo. First of all, I wish I knew this guy's name. Shout out to my my um, advisor at McDaniel because I went to a PWI first, and before I was transferring, because I went to a PWI, I had a full ride. I was going to go for free, and before I went to um. McDan I mean, before I went to Morgan, I remember asking my college uh, advisor, I'm like, yo, what's McDaniel was a better school than Morgan. Should I transfer? He was like, it's no, it's no real, it's no real such thing as a mm -hmm. better school. Do you see yourself working with these type of people or do you see yourself working with these type of people? Right? So when I was, um, when I was, uh, when I, I'm like, damn, that made sense. So when I transferred to Morgan, what I was going to say before you ask that question, Joe, is what I wish was somebody that told me the importance of your major. Yeah. Because I had a major that ain't paying me nothing. Like, yeah. I don't even, I never worked yeah. in my major. My, my, my major was sociology. Yeah. And it's just some bullshit. And if yeah. you go into school, if you're a high school student watching this, I just wouldn't suggest sociology. Yeah. If you really want to, you want to be like a, yeah. not even a social worker because it's social work yeah. major. You have a social work major. I just wouldn't suggest sociology. That's just my. my oh, yeah. Do a major that's gonna get you some money. Sociology, yeah. communications ain't yeah. the major. So through my experience, I really went to school for nothing because I'm not yeah. using my major. Yeah. However, I would pay for the network fifty thousand dollars for the network at the HBCU. Yep. I swear yeah. I would pay yeah. everything I paid for it without the classes. I would pay for the network because a lot of my friends, um, even the, the guy that's behind the camera, yeah. uh, the people I work with on a daily, yeah. like um, shout out to my guy Von Chase. Yeah. Shout out to my guy uh, Hakeem that does yeah. um. Um, I forgot the name of his shit, but yeah. he, he does catering. Like everybody that I know that that's went to an HBCU and they did their entrepreneur work, all of that network is everybody went to school. Yeah, with. yeah. And you can live off of that. So yeah, I, like, no, seriously. To answer that's your question, true. I definitely would do it. 
Yeah. I would pay for a networking degree. Now what? I would pay for a networking that's degree. That's nice. Like I swear. Now what I will say is like you know I, you know just me and who I am like I think every step you go through is a part of it, it matters because what I will say is every step of the way I feel like every tool that I picked up I use now to this day mm. and every time I took the tool the next transition I needed that tool that I learned from the previous experience so no matter what like what I'll say is yeah it's worth it was worth it because you know I learned so much on both ends but what I will say is the biggest thing is like Jay said is network like network has been a major thing like because even like my first job at Verizon was somebody I went to college with who got me the job Mm -hmm. like you know what I'm saying just real shit but I met them in college like you know what I'm saying so that's where I met them we went to school together we had class together shout out to Bright you know he left and went to the Air Force but we started out at college he got the job first before he left for the Air Force he brought me on yo we was making three thousand dollar checks at 20 years old and this is like why, you know what i mean 21 years old and this that is why put me I, um, on my feet a lot like i tell shade like she don't she's not fucking with it at all what i'd be like yo i'm trying to start earlier like i want to send amaya to boarding school because like you think about <laughs> it like because only just, i only said it because I, I came from baltimore and yeah. like in baltimore the circle is so small yeah. we don't know yeah nothing outside of our uh either one we don't know nothing outside of our uh Alex, this one. Oh, outside of our circle mm-hmm. so um when it comes to that if I can start Amaya at high school, I'm talking friends from yeah. all over the country. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking, and, and that's when you really start digging in your pocket. Oh, You're yeah. talking about resources. Yeah. Like, we ain't talking about yeah. just black friends. You go yeah. to boarding school, you know yeah. friends from every yeah. state. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So that's yeah. that's how and, I look and, at and, it. And, and, no, I look at it the same. It's, you know, I have a little separation anxiety from sending my baby away from some boarding school. That's really the bigger issue. But what I do know is, you know, um, you know, I, I'm not from Baltimore, you know, and I do feel bad in the sense of, you know, the network, well, the resource not being so spread out where you guys have that resource. But, you know, I, I did grow up in Montgomery County. So we, by default, ha- came from a very diverse yeah. situation. Like, here. we like, really, we really, that. like, I, like a lot of my friends are African, yeah. Middle Eastern, you know, Asian. Like, so that, you know, my that, they all, might not be a yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, You're, yeah. Like, not to say it no, like that, like, so, you know, though. like, but just in, in general, like, we grew up in, a, not grew up, but when my mom moved me, here from Connecticut, we moved smack to Montgomery County. Yeah. Montgomery County is it's very lit. diverse. Even her school to this day, very diverse. And I think that is actually what opened up a lot of my networks too. Yeah. Like I have all type of different friends, like, you know what I mean? All type of different connections that actually has helped me. That's why I said network is a big deal. Um, you know, and also just understanding, you know, what your network, it kind of shows you, like you said, like it's completely different things. I grew up with a lot of white girls, mm. like, you know, all like people getting money and that like yeah. even when I moved here that's what motivated me like I had to be working at 16 I had to have my first car because everybody around me was doing it if I didn't do it it's like what are you doing you're not working right. hard enough you know what I mean so I had to have a job I had to get my first car I had to be making money at a certain time I had to you know what I'm saying even the way we live now like you know a lot of, like you know sometimes I think even Jay and I battle like you know he felt like Sometimes we were living above our means, but I never felt like we were living above our means because that's just what I've been accustomed to. to. Like I'm used to grinding to have a certain lifestyle. And I don't think it's a bad thing. It's just, that's what I'm used to because if I don't do it, then I, I, it's not that I feel under the bar. It's I'm not doing my potential. You know what I'm saying? So even if, you know, like, yeah, like not saying if my job, if my job was to ever change, like I work for the government right now, but my, if my job was to ever change and like, God forbid I got laid off or some shit, I would be forced to live a different lifestyle. That's fine. But while I'm in the position, I got to live a certain way because that's to me, that's the luxury that I pay for. Like that's the, the network that I paid for. That's the schooling that I pay for. That's the work that I put in. That like to do anything less than that would be beneath me. Like, nah, you know what facts. I mean? And not to say it no way like that. It's just, and I'm not saying like, I don't believe we're not living above our means. Like we living in some three thirty five hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? We could have easily tried to do that in DC, but we was like, nah, we not about to do too much because they're really wilding. I work mm. in DC. It would have made sense because it would have been, you know, but we weren't trying to put ourselves in that position, but to a certain degree, to live at a certain caliber, it's a necessity. It's not a, it's not a choice not for option. me. Yeah, yeah. Like I have to, to answer, live a certain to way. Like, your just question, to be honest. To answer your question, I definitely would. My experience, I definitely would go to school without the without the the major. Like yeah, one hundred percent. If they, yeah, I think school yeah. should adopt a um, networking degree, low key. But um, yeah, I fuck with that. To, an, to answer your question, yeah, 
Uh, Let me read some of these facts off, though. No, nah, we about to... Let's wrap up after this. Now, do your thing. Um, re- just read through real quick. And the then. inflation-adjusted data also show that fewer young people with diplomas have jobs that pay more than 45000 a year. Facts. As of December 2019, only 35% of grads aged 22 to 27 earned that much. That's down from 48% in 1990. Damn. Ooh. The so trend... The trend doesn't bode well for former students who already have higher monthly expenses than their parents and grandparents face. The national average the rent is fourteen seventy four per month in January, according to Yardi Matrix data. The average student debt balance is around forty seven thousand, well forty seven six hundred, according to two thousand eighteen Nerd Wallet study. All told, Americans owe about one point five trillion student loan debt. Ugh. Well, yeah, so I'm uh, paying for, uh, uh, I, but I'm paying uh, for my degree uh, if it was networking, but yeah. Yeah. Um, let's, let's wrap it up. Uh, I think it was cool. Where we at, Alex? 120. Ah. Okay, we? Yeah. Well, okay. I like that. I like that. We talk about some. Yo, today was a good day. What, what, what's, your, what, what's your motivation for the next week? What's up? Um, what I look forward to, um, damn, I feel like you ain't holding me accountable. To what? We was I think I said this last week. What? Twice a week? Was that last week? Twice a week for what? <laughs> Twice at least twice, what? right? Alex, Alex, <laughs> Alex is there. Twice a week for what? Alex Wait, what, what I missed? Hey, bust down, bro. Twice you know a right? week. <laughs> I said twice in one. I said twice in one setting. Oh, about what? Sex, girl. I'm trying to. Well, yeah, I was on my period. I was on my period. It doesn't count. Uh, it doesn't so count. So you gotta hold me. It account. You gotta hold me out. All right, boom. After this, what right. I will say is, yo, shout out to Shadi. <laughs> yo, yo. What I will say <laughs> is, shout out to Shadi. Yo, I moved out of Baltimore. Yeah. I'm about to get my passport. I'm 28. I'm just about to get my passport. Cause of you. You when you talk when we're talking about the definition of upgrading you. Baby, let me upgrade your Good shit, man. Good shit. All right, good shit, good shit. I got my Yeah, my, my baby about to go to Jamaica. And you know he swear he's Jamaican, so his I first out of country uh, yeah. trip is gonna be Jamaica. That's he crazy, loves Jamaican though. food. That's he loves crazy. everything Jamaican. Yeah. He loves a Jamaican girl. Swear. Like, he loves everything. And his first trip is gonna be to Jamaica. We are all set to go to Jamaica prohibiting you but know, the U.S. Fact, goes though. accordingly. Like, I do love, I yeah. love No, he like, loves, like, culture. that's his, he loves yeah. Jamaican culture. Since I met Jay, I think our, the first time we went out to eat, like, for real, he, he took me to a really good Jamaican restaurant. And I was like, damn, nigga love curry goat more than I love curry nah, goat. God ass. damn. I love, like, like, I love the culture. He, like, he loves the culture, so I'm very excited for him to get to experience Jamaica as his first out-of-the-country trip. So what you look forward so, to, to doing this week? This week, what do I look oh, What did you look I'll forward to last week? I'll be teleworking all week, so. What did you look forward to last week? You remember Alex? No. I don't remember, but what I look forward to this week is um, since I'll be teleworking at home, uh, we got a lot of work for a baby girl to do, so we ain't going to be in here, but I do want to be as productive as possible. We got to go to Jamaica in less than a month. We need to be in this fucking gym. I don't know Write how. Write it down, gonna... Alex. Make sure we, uh, so gym? next week, 18? Jay, Jay and I had said gym. together how, how we were going to do gym. We are solely focusing on ads give me a, because we're trying to be out here big, sexy. Give me a, give me a goal, though. A real, like. Like exact goal in the gym. How many times a week? How many Ooh. times this week? All right, so it's five days in a week, three to four. You right now? All right. I'm, look, I got I'm it home now. all week. Write that I'm down. home all week. If we ain't in the Put gym, the gym the downstairs. So remember, the gym, is, the gym is downstairs. If we can't be in there three to four a week on a Not telework we, week, I don't know what's right, good so with got, us. We got two, two twice in one setting. Three, so three, three to, to four, four. three to four weeks, and right. um, two times a week of sex. No, Wait, no, no. He said two that. rounds, right? Yeah, that was yeah, what it yeah. was? Not, no, not two times. Look at her face. <laughs> Twice Wait, you were talking about two rounds? Yeah. You went long yesterday. I did, I did my thing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Jay did. I did my thing. thing. <laughs> you feel me? I was like, I woke up. Like, I, woke up. I told Monique, I didn't want to tell Monique why my wig was giving. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> did my thing, you know, bro. So, so more weed? Life. It was, more weed, Jay? a whole different reason. Huh? More weed? You gonna be hey, no? Yeah. I told you. I told you. I, Jay, I, Jay said I was like, I was. I want to smoke. I fuck around. Post a picture on Instagram. Not not dead ass. Cause a lot, I, what I don't understand is what I don't understand. Before we get out of here, people that smoke. A lot of people. Not not the not your bums. Quote air quotes, y'all. Mm. But like your intelligent like people that like they don't really promote that. Like they don't post yeah, it. Yeah, no for I what? Don't, like I'm, I'm Jay. No Jay. How often? I don't even. No, yeah, like, I don't even think that people know. I don't think people, people know. People that drink, you okay. don't see them in a the picture with a. With, but like people uh, that drink, so you don't see them in a the picture with a cup. And I'm gonna tell you why. You I'm gonna tell, a, I'm tell you. Blunt. So first of all, I don't never like people don't even know that. Like I'm a smoker, smoker. I've been smoking since I was 13, but I'm never on Instagram. Like, like I don't do that because like to me. 
smoking is not a leisure. It's really a lifestyle. But you're, but you're like, being, it's not like, see, drinking, I think, is a leisure. Drinking, well, you know, debatable because there are some people who drink. Yeah, let's be careful. Like, you know that's what I'm saying? Like, that, that's that's a, that's a debatable. Drinking. But, right like, down. what I think is drinking is such a social thing that, like, people make it, like, a thing. Like, yeah, it's social. Yeah. That's why we have so many liquor stores and all these. You don't have no, you know, now we have medical marijuana, but I think uh, smoking is really. It's a lifestyle. Like, my, you know, my dad's all, you know, I start my first, I smoked first with my dad. Like, I don't, you know, I didn't smoke with people. That wasn't like a social thing. That was what we do. Like, you know. But what I'm telling you is, it's, I think I'm going to start smoking and I think I'm going to post it too. Just because no. people don't do it. You know, Gemini's always got to like okay. test the, like, no, Okay, me, so like, here's the thing. There are people who post it and there's nothing wrong with that. But, but people this, that, this, they act like it's a problem but, but with no, like the I don't public think it's, knowing. No, it's not a problem with the public knowing, right? It's the stigma around smoking. And because of that, I don't not smoke because of the people. I do it because it's regular to me. It's not nothing that I need to but showcase But drinking is well do. regular. But you can you can take an IG snap with liquor, with a cup. But a lot of people, like a lot of intelligent, like not even intelligent. I'm trying to find the right words, but people just don't. In my circle, they so don't. To me, it's like for them. what though? Like I don't like me. I just feel like I don't. I think for me, it's just like that society doesn't really accept it. Yeah, yeah. I think that's really more yeah. so. So I, I, I can't I'm post it because so, so I work you, for a head. Like exactly, you know, you don't want them to. Exactly. Be but that's like, why I think I'm post it because right. like what You're I'm saying is like everybody say like even when it comes to like smoking, like people will say somebody's a bad influence because they got you smoking. But somebody said from day somebody said that about me. No, no, no. But from day one, like honestly. When I, I started, know. you know, I started drinking at 21. Most people started drinking before that. I encourage people to drink if you do it right. Like, I encourage, so like, for me, it's the same with smoking. Like, now that I started smoke, well, I don't smoke, smoke, but now that I started smoking, I don't think there's nothing wrong with it. So I, I would encourage, like, if you were upset, I would encourage you to hit a blunt because, like, yeah, I've seen really what it relaxing. done to me. Like, you, like, like, nah, did that. Put you like, in a deep meditation. Nah, I, and I think you I definitely wanna relax, think I'm going to post You want to chill, you so want to, like... Say your say your what's name again. Zero. What's the way? <laughs> how many fucks the, I give? How many fucks I give? Zero. Right, so Chris you, Brown said it. Word of Chris Brown. Is... What I look forward this week is two rounds from you. I said what you look. <laughs> it's just JK, JK. Three to four times in the gym. All right, mine is two rounds in one setting. Drinking. And I mean, I do look forward no, no, to drinking. No, no, that's, no, that's, no, that's for next week. Though. Oh, okay. So, um, <laughs> I'm looking for two two rounds in one setting. You're looking for three to four weeks. In a gym. Bet. All right. So, um, you already know the Gemini Scorpio podcast. Make you sure, already know the Make sure you vibes. follow me at Mr. Underscore J Hill. Healer Bay. H-E-A-L-E-R-B-A-E underscore. You got to change your Instagram name, but I like it. But, <laughs> no, just do your thing. Go ahead. At Alexander the Blanc. Spell Shorty it out, bro. Alexander, I hope you can spell the... <laughs> B L A N C. You know, it's funny. I never knew that was Alex's real ass nice name. Alex's name is really Blanc. Yeah. Cool as shit. Why isn't that French for white? Yeah. Oh wow, Alexander oh, wow. White. Ooh, okay, Cartel. Mm-hmm. Come on. Okay. He's giving Cartel vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Joe. I play all day. I play too much. I'm sorry. At ambitious JC. <laughs> Is this an underscore or something? Oh, I'm sorry. At ambitious underscore JC. Thank you. Guys. Yeah, follow us at the Gemini Scorpio Pie. Hey, Jewel is ambitious. Period. Listen, man. We um we got we still got this um promotional campaign. Please donate ninety nine cents to nine ninety nine. Shout to out to nine hundred and ninety nine. Shout out to our team, man. Shout out to our assistant. Ain't no more intern. Shout out to Monique in the building. Shout out to Pig. I hit Pig at ten o'clock this morning. Pulls up. We shoot at one. Just letting y'all know. He hey. came. Early to set up and everything. He was here. No, did that. Shout out to Pig. Shout out to the team, man. Um, Thank you. What, for... What's your Instagram, Pig? It's Trey. Like it's, you need to change your shit yeah, too, bro. That shit is coming. Trey along at like with Tr with a three. Like, Trey Tr with a three. Un- period. E. e with a three. The number eleven. The number 11 one one. U M. U M. Period. <laughs> Photography. I love it. No, I don't. I hate it. Change your fucking Instagram, please. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. But Gemini sh- Scorpio Podcast, we are here. Make sure you follow us at Gemini Scorpio Pod on Instagram, all the social media, and on YouTube. Get our numbers up. Um, thank you for supporting us, and you know, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. We out. <laughs> <laughs>